Aloha and welcome to the Hawaii State Coalition Against Domestic Violence 20th Annual Domestic Violence Conference, A Path to Safety and Health. Do you know what's different about this conference is that it's about and for the advocates and those who serve survivors of domestic violence, their families and their children. We really focus and celebrate all the hard work that they do. It's really important to support this conference because these are the people who are on the ground doing the work. This is hard work. This is traumatizing work. Our advocates and our people who serve survivors, they are indeed and truly first responders. We need the entire community at every level to support this conference and the advocates. And it's also really important because we strive to make this accessible and affordable for everybody within our community. So we want everybody to come out and enjoy and learn and collaborate and commiserate and join in fellowship. And it's really the coalition's highlight event of the year and our greatest honor to do this. One of the things I think is really important is the fact that we are talking about domestic violence that affects just about everyone in the community. Most of us know someone, um, if not ourselves, that has been impacted by domestic violence. I've been coming to this conference just about every year, and I think this conference is important because it allows an opportunity for those of us who are advocates in the community and serve survivors and those impacted by domestic violence to sort of recharge. And uh, it gives us an opportunity to find out what others are doing in the community to help support survivors of domestic violence. For me personally, it's there's something really inspirational that happens when we are with people who are like-minded and like-hearted. This is very, very difficult work, but rewarding at the same time. And it's really important as an advocate for me to keep myself abreast of what is current in terms of the information and uh, anything new that's happening that I might need to know in order to help survivors. And probably one of the first things I would want to do is to commend the Hawaii State Coalition Against Domestic Violence staff for their deep commitment to this work and their heart because it's reflected in every aspect of the conference. Well, of course, it's exciting that we're back in person again for the first time in several years. And I'm really enjoying that in part because I retired at the end of last year. And this has been an opportunity to see all my old friends, all the dedicated advocates from all the programs, and to sort of renew my commitment to doing the work, even though I'm retired, because I want to still be part of the solution to the problem of domestic violence in Hawaii. The, the conference provides a unique opportunity for advocates, um, administrators, judges, police officers, to be able to exchange ideas, to learn about new innovations, and to share support for each other. Um, because of the difficult work that we do, the kind of support, the peer support that we get for each other is critically important. I think the main thing is that it's a source of rejuvenation for the people who work in the domestic violence field, and they're able to go back out and do their work in a way where they're refreshed and feel rededicated to the important work of supporting domestic violence survivors. And that's critical because there is so much support that's needed through the, the challenging process, not just of being a victim and going to being a survivor, but working your way through the system, through the courts, through uh, welfare, et cetera, all the systems that impact upon victims of domestic violence. And the type of support and the type of work that you folks do is critical to ensuring that we not only protect victims' rights, but you are giving voice to all these individuals who feel hopeless, hopeless, and feel that they have no voice in the community and they have no way to turn. You folks are familiar more than anybody else. It's a normal part of all of our lives. So the thing, the reason why I bring this up is domestic violence is one of those things that is difficult to talk about, but we have to talk about it because as advocates, as individuals, 
who are charged with protecting the lives of others, whether you are survivors yourself, or you knew people who are survivors, or if you have seen too many survivors go through this thing, you have to be willing to talk about it all the time. Because it's really about having others feel comfortable and having victims and survivors feel comfortable that they can turn to others and the way that we talk about it and the way that we discuss it and having them understand that it is not their fault, that it is not about them. It is really about this whole community willing to support individuals who are going through this terrible situation. And it is about protection of kids. It's about protection of the community. So the things that you do, we can't thank you enough on behalf of the state because you guys are the voices of the countless voiceless individuals out there. So mahalo for your work. Mahalo, mahalo.